Gang, the deep state is panicking with President Trump acquitted and Attorney General Bill Barr opening new investigations into premeditated fraud committed at the highest levels of government. Members of the deep state are beginning to publicly freak out. We're going to take a look at how President Trump is making good on his promise to drain the swamp and why Washington, D.C. looks like it's about to get hit with revelations from the Justice Department that's going to shock the conscience of our nation like never before. Stay tuned. Greetings, everyone. It's wonderful to be with you as always. A super happy Tuesday to each and every one of you. If you haven't already done so, make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. It'd be an absolute privilege to have you as a regular part of this channel where we analyze current events in light of super awesome conservative trends so that you can live in the present in light of even better things to come. Now, before we begin, make sure to download your free gift, which we put together just for you. We're calling it our fake news antidote. It's a compilation of about 20 sites that I go to each and every day for my news. And you can download it completely free at the link down below in the pinned comments section. I think you're going to really enjoy that resource. And finally, you know, let me ask you, would you like your investments to have a positive impact on America? Have you ever thought about what kind of impact your investments can make for the good of our nation? Well, our sponsor, American Values Investments, they think a lot about that. And they can help you invest in stocks of companies they believe best embody the timeless values that have made America good and therefore great. Values like integrity, caring, and courage. Now, of course, there's risk in the stock market, and this ad does not constitute an endorsement. But if you want to make a positive impact on America while saving for retirement, well, then check them out on AmericanValues.com or simply click on the link down below. Tell them Dr. Steve sent you. They'll take good care of you. Click on that link today. All right, so let's dive in here. We have lots to cover. Ready? Let's start with an emergency meeting that's being called by a number of federal judges in response to the attorney general's actions uh, of late. The Gateway Pundit is reporting that an emergency meeting has been called for officers and members of the executive committee of what's called the Federal Judges Association. Now, this meeting appears to be in response to a letter signed by over a thousand former Justice Department deep state operatives calling on Attorney General Bill Barr to resign. Now, you may have heard what Barr did is he overruled a ridiculously punitive sentence of seven to nine years in prison that was proposed by federal prosecutors against Roger Stone. Now, given that the median sentence for convicted rapists in this country is 4.2 years, seven to nine years was objectively outrageous and excessive. And this is especially the case when we now have revelations that the foreman of the jury that convicted Roger Stone is a rabid and virulent anti-Trump Democrat, which throws the entire objectivity of the guilty verdict into doubt. So Stone has asked for a new trial, which I believe has just been turned down. And even my namesake, Jonathan Turley, recommends it. Alan Dershowitz rec recommends it. Keep in mind, these are all liberal Democrat law professors, right? But they're honest enough to see through this charade. So after the four prosecutors recommend this ridiculously excess excessive sentence, seven to nine years against Stone, Bill Barr steps in and he overrules them, stating there was an obvious case of overzealousness on their part. And Senator Lindsey Graham has openly stated that these four prosecutors were not out for justice. It was obvious that they were out to get Trump. They hated Trump and they wanted to embarrass him with this conviction and the sentencing of Roger Stone. So Barr overturned them, which caused the four prosecutors in this case to resign in protest, which caused in turn a thousand former Justice Department deep state operatives to call for Barr's resignation, which of course ain't happening. And so this emergency meeting between these federal judges appears in response to whether Attorney General Barr's intervention, along with President Trump's denunciation of the whole trial, uh, was inappropriate and overstepped their jurisdictional bounds and the like. I don't know what good it's going to do. But I think we all know what's really going on here. I think we are seeing the deep state in a total and complete panic. And they're panicking precisely because the noose is beginning to tighten regarding what's called Crossfire Hurricane, which was the code name used 
for the counterintelligence investigation of the Trump presidential campaign and its supposed ties to Russian officials. As we now know, Crossfire Hurricane turned into an attempt to sabotage a presidential campaign. And then after Trump was elected to launch a successful coup, which would in effect overthrow a duly elected president. We now know that Hillary Clinton committed obstruction of justice by deleting subpoenaed emails, but that the FBI investigation into that was thoroughly compromised by then FBI director James Comey. We now know that Comey had already written up an exoneration of Hillary before he even interviewed her. Comey and the FBI agent Peter Stroke, who was the rabid left-wing lunatic in charge of the Hillary investigation, we now know they both exonerated her from the very beginning. It was a total and complete sham of an investigation. We now know that there was premeditated fraud committed by the highest ranks of the FBI and the Justice Department. FBI Director James Comey and his deputy Andrew McCabe on four different occasions obtained FISA warrants to spy on the Trump campaign and presidency by submitting an anti-Trump Russian dossier as grounds for those FISA warrants, even though they knew that the document was in fact the work of an opposition research team, which we now know to be Fusion GPS, that was paid, bought and paid for by the Clinton campaign. So they knew they were attempting to obtain these warrants using fraudulent information. So we have a number of incidents of FISA abuse. We have a dirty dossier bought and paid for by the Clinton campaign. We have a sham investigation into Clinton's obstruction of justice. We have unwarranted spying on a presidential candidate and then president. We have premeditated fraud. And on top of it all, we have a major investigation of it all going on, headed by the U.S. Attorney John Durham. Attorney uh, General Barr has appointed John Durham to investigate all of this, the premeditated fraud, the surveillance of the Trump campaign, the, uh, the subpoenaed Clinton uh, emails, the supposed investigation of uh, Clinton by Comey. And we now know that Durham's investigation has turned into a criminal investigation. Indictments are going to be handed down. And this is what's making the swamp begin to sweat. That's why they're trying to destroy Bill Barr. Barr has already issued a statement that he's seen everything he needs to see in order for heads to roll. Indictments are coming. Durham's probe is officially, officially a criminal investigation, and the deep state knows that the time of reckoning appears to be at hand. In the meantime, President Trump has already begun cleaning house. I'm sure that you heard that. Trump has dismissed over 70 positions inherited from the Obama administration from the National Security Council. Now, keep in mind that the NSC, right, the National Security Council, that is the president's private staff, technically. And so he threw out the likes of that Lieutenant Colonel Vinman, who testified against Trump as a Democrat witness. He threw him out, as well as his brothers. He's like, you guys are out of here. Trump's withdrawn the Treasury Department nomination of Jesse Liu who supervised the prosecution against Trump's longtime friend, Roger Stone, basically telling her to go find another job. And it's so funny. I mean, because you've got these Democrats, they are completely freaking out over all this. They're like, this is retribution. This is horrible. This is payback. And Trump's like, uh, they're my staff. They belong to me. If I want to throw them out, that's my business. And by the way, nobody cares about what you Democrats think. You're a bunch of freaking losers. You're a bunch of Nancy Pelosi, you know, paper-tearing losers. So the upshot here is that I think this is all adding up to perhaps the single biggest set of indictments ever handed out in the history of Washington, D.C. I think Sean Hannity said it best. He thinks the findings of Barr and Durham are going to shock the conscience of our nation like never before. We may indeed be seeing something so big, it's gonna absolutely blow the roof off the deep state. Keep in mind, Andrew McCabe was cleared of criminal charges recently because that was a declination to prosecute one particular issue. It appears that a whole lot more is going on here that makes McCabe look almost inconsequential. So we'll certainly be keeping our eyes on things, but make no mistake, the deep state is panicked.
the noose appears to be tightening and President Trump may indeed be getting the last laugh. Now, before you go, I just posted an awesome video on Trump absolutely cracking down on sanctuary cities. You won't believe what he's doing to states like New York and cities like San Francisco. It's going to absolutely make your day. So make sure to click on the link and I'll see you over there. God bless.